Karai system revision hip. Surgical technique. The user should be familiar with the full written surgical technique prior to using the Karai revision hip. Pre-operative planning. Pre-operative planning is essential for precise reconstruction of the hip joint. The Karai Revision Stem Prosthesis comes with a comprehensive set of X-ray templates which include a clear indication of the scale used and both standard and high offsets for all sizes of the range. These are used with radiographs showing the AP view of the pelvis and AP and lateral views of the affected femur covering the full length of the prosthesis to be revised as well as any occlusion in the distal femoral canal. A transfemoral approach to retrieve the femoral implant is not a contraindication for the Karai revision stem. The level must be defined using X-ray templates and be above the longitudinal distal slots. Surgical approach Any of the standard surgical approaches may be used to implant the Karai stem or Karai revision stem. The Karai revision stem can be implanted using either of the two instrument sets, the full standalone Karai revision stem instrument set, which comprises both the core instrumentation and femoral preparation instruments, or the Karai revision stem upgrade set, which is opened alongside a standard Karai instrument set and contains only the femoral preparation instruments. Femoral canal preparation. Distal reaming. Once the failed implant has been retrieved, the femur is cleared of any remaining cement or debris if present. Rigid reamers are available in a range of sizes that should be used sequentially to prepare the distal femoral canal. Reaming should begin in a central position in alignment with the intramedullary canal. A 10 mm reamer should be used as a starter to allow the easy introduction of the 11 mm reamer. It may be necessary to increase the size of the reamer to a 12 mm or 13 mm to allow free passage of the trial stem to the desired depth. In all cases, trialing should be performed to evaluate stem seating and stability. The use of a transfemoral approach can be used during the implantation of a Karai revision stem. Generally, the femoral tube is closed by curtilage wiring to construct the femoral shaft, and then the femoral preparation is carried out as it would be for a closed femur procedure. The primary stability of the stem inside the host bone is the limiting factor, and the extended trochanteric osteotomy, ETO, should not extend beyond the distal coronal slots on the stem to ensure stability of the stem beyond the ETO. Metaphysial preparation. If required, access to the femoral canal should be enlarged laterally into the greater trochanter using a box chisel to ensure that the brooches do not enter the femur in varus. The first brooch, with a size adapted to the defect, is attached to the brooch handle and the proximal femur is prepared by progressively increasing brooch sizes. The Karai Revision Stem Instrument Set contains both size 8 and size 9 diamond tooth brooches, which can be used as starter brooches. The preparation of the proximal femur requires the metaphysical region to be reshaped to a quadrangular bone cavity, aiming for the correct pre-operatively planned antiversion by using the brooches. It is essential that the final brooch is completely rotationally and axially stable in the femur in order to ensure stem stability in the metaphysis. To test for appropriate stability, rotational and axial pressure should be applied to the brooch handle without movement of the brooch inside the femoral canal. Distal stem stability alone is not sufficient. Note that it is common to see voids around the brooch proximally. The stem relies on multipoint fixation as opposed to full bony contact as in the Karai primary stem, so this appearance is acceptable.
If necessary, the calca mill can be used carefully on the remaining calca in order to produce a flat surface upon which to seat the implant collar and prevent the formation of stress raises. To ensure correct seating and no distal restriction, a trial reduction must be performed using the corresponding trial stem as the brooches are shorter than the trials and implants. Trial Stem Introduction The final brooch is extracted and the trial stem of the same size is attached to the brooch handle. The trial stem is lightly inserted into the femoral canal using a hammer. It should be stable at the level defined during pre-operative planning relative to the greater and lesser trochanter and at the same level at which the brooch attains stability. It may be necessary to ream distally using the 12mm or 13mm reamers to allow free passage of the trial stem to the desired depth. If the trial stem is not stable, a trial stem one size larger can be tried in order to obtain stability at the correct level. In case visual access is available, it can be useful to check that the minimal embedding level is reached using the dedicated witness groove on the trial stem. Neck and Head Trialing The required trial neck is then attached into the trial stem. Two options are available, Standard, STD, and High Offset, KHO. The High Offset variant offers up to 7mm of direct lateralization, depending on the size and will increase soft tissue tension without affecting leg length. A trial head is placed on the neck of the trial stem and the hip is reduced and assessed for stability through a full range of motion. Definitive Stem Introduction The definitive implant of same size as the trial stem and same offset as the trial neck is inserted into the femoral canal. The introduction is managed using the stem impactor while ensuring the correct restored and aversion is applied. The stem is cautiously impacted using a hammer while avoiding any impact on the neck. An optional reduction using a trial head can be done at this stage. Femoral Head Impaction Clean and dry the stem taper carefully to remove any particulate debris. Place the femoral head onto the taper and using moderate force, tap the head onto the taper using the head impactor. Ensure bearing surfaces are clean and avoid any damage to the bearing surface during reduction. <laughs>